What's up guys, this is the Brave and we are back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as Louisiana. And this will be in our special. So to round off where we left off, we are going to destroy the last remaining British presence on our continent. Actually, it might not necessarily be the last presence. Oh no, we did kill them, good. But yes, we're going to go and attack Mr. Kevin McDowell and destroy his force here at our port. Let's open up the great city of Quebec to trade once more. And then after this battle, I'm really going to have to start to figure out what I'm going to do with a lot of my spare armies, because they do have a lot of capacity. Obviously, one natural conclusion is to conquer the Caribbean. But we definitely do want to launch some sort of invasion of Europe. Let's put some guns up on this hill on the right. On the left, sorry. Guns on the hill in the centre. Mainly because I want to take my fight to the enemy. Let's group our cavalry ready. Because I do want my cavalry there to chase down survivors. And once I get to... Uh, get to Europe, I'm probably going to want to invest in heavier cavalry. Obviously I've got my howitzers, but because we are advancing anyway. Let's hop over to these guys. Colonial lights, they got the same cavalry as us. So I've got my guys to run. Obviously I'm just unlimbering my how it says, and I'm going to get them to drop carcass shot. They do want the, they are charging, but they can't make up their mind exactly where. Drop these guys into square because they are going to touch them. Yeah. Obviously, we've also got. Nope, don't need to drop into square there. You guys hit. Can send one unit in to attack the enemy uh, cavalry, then send my other cavalry unit around the flank. You guys are done, and we've got a very good opportunity to uh, flank with our line here. Send this cavalry unit. Yep, get behind. behind the enemy colonial light. So they are charging more men into the fight, but they're already damaged. It's a lot of enemy into the fight, so it's got our howitzers to start dropping artillery on them. Damn, right when there's a massive break of enemy troops. Pound the 13th, you guys hit the... Hit some of these routing guys. Sorry everyone, the doorbell just rang. Just a sec. Apologies for that. Uh, let's get cracking. So we've got lots of enemy troops on the left. No, let's avoid charging that unit. Because there are cavalry spikes around. Okay, so then we are going to want to pull these guys back. Excellent, if these guys can waver or can break these guys, that's perfect. In which case we probably do want these guys to push up to threaten the line. So we can intercept the... Uh, routing enemy units. Just charges enemy colonial lights. The infantry's breaking. Let's pick new howitzer targets. Let's call it this square formation.
you continue to mow down the 5th Regiment of Foot. These guys are going to co collectively knock out the 3rd. There might be some flanking shots being... Well, there will likely be some flanking shots fired into the side of the 11th, but can't help that. Okay, let's pivot our infantry around. Yes, kill the white, the light horse. Kill a handful more of them because you're already in combat with them. Enough to make them shatter, then go after the 13th Regiment of Foot. Chaps are routing over here. This artillery engage the field artillery. 12th Regiment of Militia is going to break. Can you guys smash into the militia to make them break to free up our light cavalry that's currently losing a lot of men? Good. So my weakened unit, you chase down that colonial regiment. You continue to kill them. Let's get my general to move over. Third regiment is wavering, which is understandable. They're being fired at A. Um, by rank in front. And also they've got skirmishes pouring fire into their flank. Now you chase them down. Focus on killing British troops. So these guys push up. These guys push up. Something like that. Pick new artillery targets. Make sure we do kill these units, that we don't just let them trot after each other. Because the AI will certainly do that if you let it. Yeah, there goes the enemy general. Oh, you guys stay here. Deadly accurate shots into the general's bodyguard, maybe. Yeah, everyone's going down. Seven colonial infantry remain. So let's make sure we knock them out. Obviously, there's some infantry that has to come back because they've decided the routing would be far too simple. Okay, let's get these men to charge on. Our general can knock out the last lone guy here. Or at least attempt to. Very slowly getting away. Okay, let's bring these guys back down here ready. Can you guys bayonet and charge the redcoats? Halt our artillery fire because that's who they're engaging. Gunners are coming back. Eh, just take the fourth. So you're going to go smash into the third. You guys are about to kill the fifth regiment. They're dead. So let's go after the sixth. The 
fourth light horse is going to have a go at killing those guys, but they're probably not going to be very successful. And I'm pretty sure that's everyone. So, triple speed. Turn off the artillery. Keep as many men engaging line infantry as possible. Just keep mowing them down. Because they are going to rout and they're going to uh, decide to go hide somewhere annoying, I expect. Those gunners don't know where to run. Try hit the 7th. You guys are doing quite well against the 6th. You guys are doing very well against the 32nd. There's only two left. Go try kill the 6th. The gunners are dead. Okay, now it's everyone against the 6th regiment hiding at the back of the map. And they are gone. Excellent. Look at that. 444 lost for 2,800 British. Let's spend some cash on replenishing our men. Let them march back and then we'll finish them off. These armies obviously are regrouping. You're heading back to Quebec. Got a ship. So they're a bit stuck out here. While they're waiting for our forces elsewhere to repair and replenish. So we want I do want these guys to come and knock out Curacao, because the British are using it as a base of operations. Emerald for 23,000 cash next turn. Okay, that's pretty good. Can you guys leave here on territory yet? Forward, nope. The town development will help. Let's head in turn. Then we will destroy that stack. I do need to keep churning out ships. But I think in the end we will... Well, <laughs> we definitely need more ships if we're going to have mastery of the Americas and we also want to push into Europe. Because Europe's getting interesting. The Austrians are becoming all-powerful. So I think we need to go teach them a lesson on who the real super Catholics are and I definitely want to take Paris because there's definitely something about being the colony reinvading your former master I do think it's quite poetic and amusing really and there definitely should be more of a consideration of how many men a ship can carry in an invasion force really you can use a sloop to transfer an army of 5000 men risky but if you can get if you can just straight line it there it's not a problem you can invade and cross the, across the atlantic with a sloop children what's happening in europe it's the swedes and the austrians having a good old time Austrians are just at war with Spain and France. I'm hoping they don't take France, because I want to take France. So that's Huron. They've got a new upgrades. So let's build a new town. Can you leave yet? Nope. Sir. Okay, let's upgrade two of these fur trappers. Let's repair the port and then let's send Gautier Brissot. Just go auto resolve and kill Kevin McDowell. Oh, obviously, he's not dead. Don't chase after him. 
Because realistically, there's only one way he's going to go. He's probably not going to go this way. He's probably going to come back. Trade route raided from the French, further by the British, but we can't stop them. So, war declared. Yeah, oh, that France and Austria is a recent war. A spy is still over there. Okay. So recruiting a second, because we have deployed our fleet into action, haven't we? I oh, know he's down here, isn't he? He doesn't really have a suitable location. Aha! So we can take this army under Philippe Babouf. Ready and waiting, men. Forward. Transfer them Forward. to the army. Take this sloop Rose out and land near the harbour. So the sloop can then go over to Guadeloupe. The militia can be destroyed. And we will want a unit of buccaneers. Are you cheaper than... Yeah, you are. I want my buccaneers to guard the ports. If my fleet is going to sit in Jamaica, that I don't want a uh, another ship down here. A weaker ship. Um, because I don't want to accidentally make them uh, deploy them with my main battle fleet. Okay, so let's take... Well, first of all, let's probably build an Admiral's flagship first rate, ship of the line. And let's hop down to the Windward Islands. The swine rockets. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Let's go take Martinique. So ideally, I'd like to take Martinique, t then take Curacao, and then send both of those armies down to South America so they can support each other. I think it's probably a good idea. Obviously, this is going to be a bit of a... bit of a brawl, so I probably want to put my artillery up on... It's not really a hill, but it's, it's a rise. And that'll do. I've still got militia in this army. Deploy my entire army. And everyone is going to advance. Absolutely not necessary, but fun. Especially as they have a general's bodyguard. So these guys can probably afford to go like this. The guys on this flank are a bit a bit better laid out, actually. File our calm citizenry, West India Company Infantry Buccaneers. So even I've even got my code of in the line, because there's just going to be so much firepower available to me that it's just not going to be a uh, a worry. Okay, actually, let's make sure I put you in a bit more of a flanking position. As the artillery hammers in. <laughs> yep. Routing, routing, routing. One second, guys, I'm now getting a phone call. Aren't I the popular person today? Just one second. And I'm back. Sorry, everyone. So, we are mowing down... Mowing down the enemy fleet. Oh, these poor buccaneers. Trying to find some, somewhere to go that won't cause them to be immediately killed. 25th Regiment of Militias accidentally got into combat. They're not going to stick around very long if they're already wavering. Oh no. Oh no, they've managed to cheer up. Well, in which case then. Send this Light Infantry unit in to engage, because they'll soon see them off. I'll start deploying my cuirassier, hit the General's bodyguard. My other infantry. 
Well, my other cavalry just hit just hit the enemy forces and I do know that militia units come back but they're probably going to rout when they receive this cavalry charge yeah there they go the only thing left remaining is the bodyguard but he's going to get killed because these are horse guards these are cuirassiers they're not just you come on a guard and militiamen. You go over and engage. The 33rd Regiment that sat there in square formation. Although, it looks like this Buccaneer Regiment is trying to uh, reform. But he's not going to really have a chance. Go on, Cuirassiers, go knock out the Buccaneers, and it looks like they've all broken. Yeah, we're going to continue just to get some uh, XP. Not that we really need it, but this was, a uh, this was actually a, a relatively unbloodied force. But it's had some Oh no, that, no, this is it. This is the army that was uh, almost all infantry. So it's got some new cavalry elements, it's got some new um, artillery elements, and some new uh, skirmishes. Yeah, they all routed. So it's everyone on this unit of buccaneers, because I'm assuming you'll kill those guys. Yeah, everyone versus Buccaneers. Oh, they're going to get away! Colonial Light Horse managed to catch them at the end. Heroic victory. I did manage to read how many minutes were in that last part, so I can jot it down. But yes, we have now captured the Windward Islands, which is another French staging post that no longer exists. And we'll get round to repairing it in the next during the next turn. One more turn to get grape shot. Don't really care about grape shot, but we're so close to it, we may as well do it. Anita is doing seed planting drills. For now, I think that's okay. Although maybe you might go for a new model bayonet drill. No, I need the uh, the farm growth to help build the town. The British arm um, the Royal Navy's on the march or on the sail. Oh, we can intercept their forces. Let's let's get a uh, let's get some early hits on the reinforcing. Well, not the reinforcing on the garrison. The, well, the army that's sat in port plus the city garrison. Okay, so I'm anticipating the reinforcing army coming in from over here. So let's deploy some pretty solid infantry positions. You guys can stick where you are. The 8th and the 6th regiment, you guys hold. These four men can deploy where needed in the event of a funky deployment zone or a funky mission deployment like that So this is the reinforced. This is the uh, the full army near the port that's coming in. Let's 
so we can do with splitting up some of the units we've got currently guarding the front. Let's get my artillery over here. So we're engaging the infantry. The general's, the general's gone. Hopefully we can kill him. Looks like he will escape though. So these men push up and just hammer them completely. Pull this cavalry back. Probably pull this royal guard over here. The men in the town centre are still marching up. These guys limber up. Oh, it's a shot. Dropping explosive shells on us. But yeah, this is the army that's coming in because it's got because it had the general. Oh no, not buccaneers. Let's do that actually. There you go. The Royal is the Royal Escosse on this flank. You're gonna do some good work. Let's make sure to uh, redeploy this line. Pretty much deploy one set of guns looking that way, one set of guns looking the other way. Chase down the 5th Regiment because it looks like they're going to rout. Some men may make it to our lines here. Let's go say getting ready to fire. Point blank range. Here comes the regiment of dragoons. Drop these guys into square formation. General's bodyguard to go after a fairly safe kill. You chase down the routing artillerymen. So then all of these guys can march over. Okay, you drop into square as well. It was the enemy artillery. So I've not used any of my own artillery in this battle because it's just been so fluid. Yep, go on, General. Keep chasing down the 7th. Let's position some cavalry to chase down the 13th. It's a whole lot of cavalry. Still charging into the 3rd Regiment. Let's 
still holding on. Oh, it's you, the Buccaneers. Let's see. You guys get out of formation as well and also charge the Buccaneers. No. Nope. You're about to shoot through your own trailing team. I don't want that. These men are getting mowed down as they march up. There we go. Kill a whole load of the Buccaneers. Okay, so the, the, the strong unit. Get in position. The weak unit, you can also get into position, but just with a smaller... Focus. General... Continue to chase down the 7th. Charge the 13th, maybe, with my cavalry, because they're already upset. Switch general was killed here. Ah. Because his original general was back here. There we go. <laughs> now we're fighting the 69th. Nice. Who routed after losing 28 men. No, 30, 30 odd men. Imagine being the 29th regiment of foot. Marching into battle and seeing this. They're concerned they're under artillery attack. And there they go. So, is this coming in? The 3rd Regiment of Foot, West India Company Infantry. Assumes you're not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually going to try and give fire. Although I doubt that'll last very long. There's no one else coming in, so I'm going to speed up time because. Yep, they're routed. We are going to continue because we've got we've got cavalry, we've got men on the field. Let's just use them. Let's just halt artillery fire just to make sure we don't get any stupid friendly fire kills as they spin around to try to kill everyone. Close, close. That wasn't close. Nowhere near. Well, that's a good, good victory there. So they've lost, lost half their men. They've got half their army remaining, but now they are at numerical disadvantage. Ooh, I'm defending. Oh, they're trying to sally out. Eh. I could fight that to try capture it, but I don't really need to capture ships. We are victorious! God damn, especially when your admiral <laughs> does a really good job. So let's see how the French respond. Although unfortunately they can't really respond because they're trying to uh we're spending a lot of time uh focusing their efforts on Trying to build forces in South America, knowing they can't actually deliver them into the theatre. Spanish are going to see the see the Austrians out of their port. Don't worry, Spain. Got my eye on you. And at some point I got to be ready for the Cherokee to suddenly uh, 
betray us. But as soon as they do betray us, as soon as they refuse to support us in a war and we lose our alliance, then I'll begin to focus my efforts on attempting to cure them. Fond of sailors, plus three management navy, that's great. Philip Philip Buff got drill master, and our ad general our admiral's got our oh, lack of bottom, minus one morale. Steadfast, plus one to command when commanding frigates. See, we're still losing some trade. Got to improve grape shot. You've gone straight on to naval administration, which I think is a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Construction. New Haven now has a happiness building to try and offset the clamour for reforms. What happens when people learn stuff? Good. We've got a second rate ship of the line, Triton. So we're getting our Admiral's first rate ship of the line, and let's build another first rate ship of the line. Start to churn out those naval vessels. We do need to start upgrading some of these ports. But first, let's repair Martinique, because you're not going to have very much infrastructure, because the AI never really invests in these regions. Don't go into the port because you'll break it. Instead, these men are going to replenish. First of all, I'm going to spend some money upgrading one of these ports because why not? Although it looks like all the ports I can build in are actually done. Okay, Gautier, your job might actually be to go looking for this British army wherever it went. It's probably going to show up somewhere over here. This is why we've got these other infantry standing by. You're in good shape. My priest is stood on here in Philadelphia. And they're finally majority Catholicism. Good. Let's hop down to Curacao. Take Philip above. And let's go turf the Brits out of this region completely. And I'm going to attack them attack their armies prior to attacking the uh, the city. So let's deploy our artillery back. Their infantry corps is shattered, so I'm not concerned about any surprises. The 28th is going to stay behind because they're already broken. You're pretty broken as well. Everyone else is in good enough shape to march on. Go on then, Philippe. have been quite aggressive but it looks like they want to take their time getting into position so I'm more than happy to uh, make the decision for them all the reinforcements coming in from way back here and these aren't really reinforcements lots of incredibly depleted units okay deploy our cavalry to chase off the enemy those are mortars coming in? Howitzers. Okay. So we've scared off their cavalry suitably. So let's just deploy our cavalry to go start to intercept some of these guys at the back. Because they're in a bit of a bowl here. <laughs> mm. 
these two units here. You can probably start to march over here to intercept some of these reinforcing troops. I oh, should be able to get a lot of damage against that colonial light horse. Now, we're not going to kill it because one of them's absolutely legged it. We'll send our cavalry out to go start to chase down. Aha! Engage the light horse with my general. I would pivot my men here, but these guys are going to charge. Oh, change their mind. Won't let these guys stay in position. So one unit charge into the line infantry. So you go straight in. The seventh. Get around the flank so we can engulf them. main infantry battle is going exactly how you'd expect. We've been charged on the flank by some colonial light cavalry, but it's not a problem. Let's try and make sure our general doesn't die to a stupid charge. So our infantry marches in, ready. So are these. These are all buccaneers, so... Chase them down. Our fire by rank operations up here are going to be doing a whole bucket load of damage to the British infantry, so we may as well just continue our efforts in rolling up their reinforcements as they enter the field. Funny, my artillery is just not engaging automatically, but whatever. Is anyone else coming in? Doesn't look like it. Is my cavalry smashed into this infantry unit to the north? General's bodyguard is looking very under strength. I mean, these are guard infantry, so I'm not worried about them against Light Horse. Especially, especially such a weak unit of Light Horse. So when these guys are fired off their last volley. Okay, let's... Get up in their face. Let's deploy our cavalry to go chase down some of these routing units. Deploy my infantry to fight these men that are sticking around. Clan of Dragoons have charged in now. As our infantry just fires volley after volley after volley. Eh, 
might continue to attack the Dragoons, but he may as well send my cavalry down to chase down the enemy. Send my cavalry to chase down the routing enemy units. Oh, this poor general. Him. Sat there, happy as a clam. He's following orders, he says. He shot both of his mates. This guy is some sort of genius. He's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, we're going to continue. Let's see if someone can down him as he gets to the trees. Nope. I send a light cavalry to chase him down. Philippe Babouf. Let's get him to chase someone down at longer range. No, the general's going to escape, but the 7th regiment may not. Chomp. They're going to route for, for sure. Everyone target the fifth because they're the ones they're most likely to be able to actually kill. Everyone else is a bit more of a pipe dream. There's one guy left and he's all the way back here. Poor, poor soul slice again it says it's close it's not close british bias game fake news there you go 400 men we've killed 1600 of theirs there we go then mr babuff will take the city in short order curacao's ours the port is intact Get some basic repairs going. Get our replenishment going. Good. Now, Britain, what do you say? Good. It's now turned Britain away from a potential trading nuisance to a useful ally, and they are building heavy first rates. So at the very least, we managed to get rid of our... Uh, our, one of our enemies but we will look towards Paris it also means this army is now teleported away so you, Gautier get back to Tadoussac, well, actually you might just walk back to uh, Boston you go back to Quebec can you leave here on territory Onward, nope, it's going to take a while a few turns at least Done all these, checked these out. Aha. Go on this sloop to hold the port. Don't worry, Mughal Empire, if you try anything, you're toast. So our next target is going to be these islands down here. Well, these regions, and you can see there are actually a lot of troops down here. So I want to land two armies to make sure they don't get engulfed. That's for the next part. Well, not the next part, the next, uh... Next turn. Ha! <laughs> Do you think they're going to attack me again? Or they would have done. Were we not at peace? Don't worry, France. We're coming after you. The Austrians are going to be a very interesting challenge, especially if they do take Madrid. The Spaniards are clearing out the Swedish, clearing out the Ottomans, but they're not going to go face the uh, 
face the Austrians, not with a full stack in their port. No siree. But see, if they did lose, if Spain did die, that would be fascinating because then I would just jump on as many of their colonial holdings as I possibly could. Oh, Ottomans don't do it in this episode, in this campaign as well. Okay, looks like I have to cut the recording. Oh, oh no, hold on. See, it's like watching an engine trying to start. You start to go, oh, is, is it? Is it? Is it going to work? No, is it? Is it? Is it not? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the recording, guys. So I'll see you in a second. And we're away again, and the Swedish want to ally with us. Uh, it's an interesting proposal. Especially when you have... Well, it may be useful to have some European allies who are also at war with the French. They're at war with Russia, but we have no diplomatic relationship with Russia, so... I think it's a good idea. Especially as they're going to... They are going to pay us for the privilege. So right now Sweden ally is allied with Austria and with us. So I think... If possible, we may be able to turn the Swedes against the Austrians. Or at least I would like to. We all know how the game behaves. Or how the game treats... Um, treats you when you're the human player. So I expect I could have the best relationship with Sweden in the world and they would still go, no. Successful mission, Nicolas Joseph Devereux. I do, I really do need to go knock them out. But it's less of a priority right now against the uh, European factions. So we've got more trade spots in our port. Or at least we would have if we were not uh, currently trading with everyone we already can and already at war with everyone else. So let's pick up some of these increased, some of these fur exchange upgrades. So Theodore can replenish. Gautier. Actually, no, you may as well go back to Quebec. Go back to the Quebec port. The army can, the reinforcing army can stay behind. Pick up another trapping post upgrade. Your villages still aren't growing. Although well, clamour for reform is going to go up still. Aha, our new admiral. Jean Frederic Sercouf. Hey, that's the name of that submarine from World War Two that's got a uh, that's got a, a battleship guns in it. I think. So we've got, there's a first rate. So we've got a first rate ship of the line. We're putting another first rate. We're putting another second rate. So probably go for another second and a third, or maybe just another second for now. Because obviously we do have some. Housekeeping to do. Okay, let's not upgrade this then. Let's get the infrastructure. Oh, actually, infrastructure is pretty good. Can you leave the Windward Islands or will they complain? By the land. No, you can. Okay, so we're getting to a good position then to push onto this region. I'm surprised we've not been attacked by someone. I mean, I'll take it. So Philadelphia is the only place that is growing a new port, I think. Well, actually no, Providence. 11 turns. I oh, know this is going to be a trade port though, isn't it? Although that may not even necessarily be the best thing to do. I could have two naval dockyards in one area. Could go try to take Ceylon, but that would potentially draw us into conflict against the Mughal Empire. And I would probably like to push down the gunnery school track as well. You guys all need steam engines and stuff to upgrade next. Which is going to be a while away, because we need to get 
We need to get Wealth of Nations to get Machine Tools to get Steam Engine. But I think right now we are reorient reorienting. Obviously I want Theodore. He's 50 years old now, but I want him to lead the charge when we go for Paris. That would be quite... quite fitting. But right now, you're repairing. Everyone's replenishing, everyone's doing good things. Don't want to push this army in yet until these guys are ready. So let's hit another end turn. The British are gathering more men. But to what end? No. I bet Spain is so happy they've not got to worry about me. I mean, potentially, it would make sense, or it may make sense, to actually attack to attack Spain, because right now they're being set upon by the Austrians and they're very, very weak. Um, but I'm trying to play the part of a good Catholic neighbour, and I'm, I've got good relations with the Spanish and the Americas. I have no reason to attack them. Our colonial overlords, yes, but the Spanish, no. Um, but looking at the Ottoman entered phase, I'm going to chop the recording here again, so see you in a second, everyone. We are back in the ball game. So yeah, I think the next steps are attack the attack a, the possessions in South America. Then at the same time, probably launch an invasion across the Atlantic over to France and also to attack the Pueblo nations. They may pull us into some wars, but they're a protector of Georgia. I don't really care. The first straight ship of the line. The first. Wait. So the Britain already definitely had heavy first rates. So do you think this is the first normal first rate that's been built? Okay, let's put a second rate. Oh, there's two. Okay, I don't think I'm, there's so much difference between them. So let's get a... Three-thirds to start to balance the fleet out. Let's upgrade. The government building and roads in Martinique. Let's upgrade the port here as well. Let's also upgrade the port here. Okay, I'm tempted to push these guys in anyway. So let's go back up here. So who have we got? Theodore is definitely going to France. Gautier, who is pr who's probably actually go and attack the uh, natives. Let's bring him back to New Orleans. As well as our ship. Let's see if this kills the game. Let's see if they bump into each other. There they go. <laughs> so we've swapped cover ships. This navy can disembark their forces. And go to here. March up to the border where the metal road turns into dirt. Ready for war next turn. Let's upgrade the government building in Antigua. Right now, I think everything's done that can be done. May as well just keep dumping cash out while we've got it because we've got no real need to hold on to it. Yeah, that's our ship of the line. Okay. Good. Plus the management justice, but he's very... <laughs> minus two lower class. Happiness lower class is minus one middle. So a lot of people won't like him. But then again, we've not really got a load of massive... Uh, A massively decent pool of re pool of uh, alternatives. Still at war with the Huron. 
But obviously I don't want these guys to rebel. Down to five. Okay. Obviously this guy's so bad he's not going to convert anyone anyway. Okay, I think one more turn for these guys to be finished. Cool. And before things get too crazy, I'm going to chop the recording before the Ottomans show up. So, see you in a second. Huh, apparently we blew right past the uh, Ottoman end turn. So apparently they make this war. So maybe they've uh, stopped being really annoying. Seed planting drill. Good. Your village is growing. Still no. But it'll kick in with a half a percent extra growth. So you instead get on to new model bayonet drill. Or maybe carcass shot start going down towards quicklime, especially if we're going to go fighting in Europe. Can you move out now? One more turn. No, no natives are being converted to Christianity. Another second rate ship of the line has been built. So a bunch of thirds. I want to put a heavy first. Probably keep the fleet balanced. Don't want to put a happiness building yet. You're still not ready, but you're near as damn it. I hope you're not. Some of your units are actually a bit plastered. Well, let's just do it. Let's deploy these men in. Disembark. Let's gather our troops. Damn, it's a lot of militia. So you can hold them off for a turn, maybe two, with our forces. But looking at the timer, I think it's time, well, looking at the timer, I estimate it's probably time to end the episode. We've had so many damn cuts. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Louisiana. Cheers, everyone.